Hi, peeps. Personify is here again to tell you an interesting story about a... Um... Aquaman? Wait, what? A superhero? What if I tell you there's a man on Earth who stayed under ice water for longer than two hours? Well, you'd call him a superhero, no? Yeah. He is the Iceman. Wim Hof is not a superhuman, but a man who unlocked his super abilities through human power. He has a record of staying under cold water for so long using his special breathing techniques. Wim's passion arose after losing his first wife due to severe depression, leaving him and his four kids alone. It was then he realized he needs to find the real motive behind his life and his purpose. Born in the Netherlands in 1959, Wim Hof is a Dutch extreme athlete noted for his ability to withstand freezing temperatures. He had nine siblings with one identical twin. When he was 17, he felt a sudden urge to jump into the cold water of the Beatrix Park Canal. He said in an interview that in childhood his mother told him he was a missionary. When he realized his passion, he went on to start a campaign to help people get rid of mental illnesses by gaining complete control over their mind and body. Wim's four children with his first wife are Enum Hoff, Isabel Hoff, Laura Hoff, and Michael Hoff, and he has two more children with other girlfriends. The company behind the Wim Hof method was created by Wim Hof and his firstborn Enum Hoff. After the creation, Isabel, Laura, and Michael Hoff also joined the company. Because of this, they're often referred to as the Hoff family or the Hoffs. It's been in recent years that the method really took off. Wim Hof markets a regimen, the Wim Hof Method, or WHM, created alongside his son, Enum Hoff. The method involves three pillars, cold therapy, breathing, and meditation. There are many variations of the breathing method. The basic version consists of three phases as follows. Controlled hyperventilation. The first phase involves 30 cycles of breathing. Each cycle goes as follows. Take a powerful breath in, fully filling the lungs, and breathe out by passively releasing the breath, but not forcefully. Repeat the cycle at a steady pace 30 times. Hoff says that this form of hyperventilation may lead to tingling sensations or lightheadedness. Exhalation. After completion of the 30 cycles of controlled hyperventilation, take another deep breath in and let it out completely. Hold the breath with the lungs empty for as long as possible. Breath retention. When strong urges to breathe occur, take a full deep breath in. Hold the breath for about 15 to 20 seconds and let it go. The body may experience a normal head rush sensation. These three phases may be repeated for three consecutive rounds. Preliminary and proof-of-principle studies of Hoff's method, as well as similar breathing practices, have shown that hyperventilating can temporarily suppress the innate immune responses, as well as temporarily increase the heart rate and adrenaline levels. Other known benefits of the Wim Hof method include stress reduction, faster recovery from physical exertion, better sleep, improved sports performance, enhanced creativity, and more mental focus and clarity. Wim has held many world records. In 2000, Hoff set the Guinness World Record for the furthest swim under ice with a distance of 57.5 meters. A new record of 76.2 meters was set by Stig Severinsen in 2013. In 2007, Hoff set a world record for the fastest half marathon barefoot on ice and snow with a time of 2 hours, 16 minutes, and 34 seconds. Hoff has also set the world record for the longest time in direct full body contact with ice a total of 16 times, including 1 hour, 42 minutes, and 22 seconds in 2009, 1 hour, 44 minutes in 2010, and 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 2 seconds in 2013. This was surpassed in 2019 by Josef Kobro of Austria, with a time of 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 47 seconds. In 2007, Hoff climbed to an altitude of 7,200 meters, or 23,600 feet, on Mount Everest, wearing nothing but shorts and shoes, but he failed to reach the summit due to a recurring foot injury. In February 2009, Hoff reached the top of Mount Kilimanjaro within two days wearing only shorts and shoes. 
in September, he ran a full marathon in the Namib Desert without water. People have died while attempting the Wim Hof method. Four practitioners of the WHM drowned in 2015 and 2016, and relatives suspected the breathing exercises were to blame. The WHM website advises doing the exercises in a safe manner and location. Critics of Hoff say he overstates the benefits of his method, giving false hope to people suffering from serious diseases, and some of his claims have been uncritically reported by the media. On his website, he says that it has reduced symptoms of several diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and Parkinson's disease. He's also said that it might cure some forms of cancer. One of the scientists who studied Hoff stated that, quote, Hoff's scientific vocabulary is meaningless. With conviction, he mixes in a nonsensical way scientific terms as irrefutable evidence, end quote. However, he also goes on to say, quote, when practicing the Wim Hof method with a good dose of common sense, for instance, not hyperventilating before submerging in water, and without excessive expectations, it doesn't hurt to try, end quote. Wim considers the medical staff who fear people regaining health as terrorists. Just for their income, they keep pushing people towards medications that make them more dependent health-wise. Wim Hof's followers have a great response to his technique. Kelly Slater, the million-time world surfing champion, famously collapsed while at a Wim Hof breathing clinic this spring. And the embarrassing moment was, of course, captured on Instagram and shared with millions of people. But Slater's not alone. Surfers who take on titanic waves all over the world are dabbling in some Wim Hof themselves, like Hawaii's Kwa Smith, a pro surfer who's freakishly comfortable in very scary waves. He said, quote, I've been practicing the Wim Hof method for about a year, and it still blows my mind. People always ask if it helps with big wave surfing and breath holding, and it does. But I do it because it helps me to live to my full potential. It teaches me how to control my emotions. It's a tool to bring me to an optimal state. Anyone can do it. End quote. Big mountain free skier Johnny Collinson knows from experience, saying, quote, The ice bath is where it hit me that the breathing actually works. I didn't think I could stay in very long, but once you calm yourself, you find you can actually control the impulses that want to shut your body down. I got out of the ice after 10 minutes and wasn't even shivering. It was mind-blowing. End quote. To learn more interesting facts about Wim Hof and his techniques, give Becoming the Iceman, Pushing Past Perceived Limits a read. The link to the ebook is provided in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, and don't forget to subscribe to Personify to learn more about unique and interesting people around the globe. See you soon.